Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review On the Trail of, Big, of Bigfoot, Land of the Missing. This is the latest from Small Town Monsters and Seth Breedlove as they continue their journey looking into cryptids and specifically Bigfoot. And this takes place in Alaska and really focusing on a lot of unsolved kidnappings and missing people. And... It really focuses on the growing perception that a lot of people are starting to blame these kinds of things on cryptids and saying like Bigfoot are malicious, they're stealing people, they're capturing people. And this is in along the lines of, you know, this is an hour and 17 minute documentary. It's continuing the same kind of feel and atmosphere and... Um, cinematic voice as the rest of the films in this series and these are some of the more I think I think the more more, more accessible of Seth Breedlove's films in terms of like I feel like everybody knows about Bigfoot kind of thing and this particular one I think towards the beginning there's some perspectives that were shared that I felt were a little aggressive towards like other animals and stuff like that in terms of like how dangerous they were but yeah they did talk about moose and they're dangerous they'll mess you up um but it's very interesting this continues a good trend of they find the best people to talk about their experiences because they always tend to be like good storytellers and even if it's just like a camera sitting on a person talking about their experience and sharing this uh, one time something happened, it's so engaging and interesting because they do such a great job of like picking the right people to tell these stories. And there's a few stories in here that are engaging and interesting. This particular film, you know, moves well. It has its very specific focus on the context of Bigfoot and trying to look at the more negative perceptions of what Bigfoot can be in terms of much more dangerous and malicious tricksters trying to like trap people, trying to capture them. And I think this is an interesting twist from some of the other films and what this one's specifically focusing on. And Seth Breedlove, as always, does a fine job of, you know, setting the stage, getting us there, hearing these stories, hearing these accounts, and helping us within, you know, a very modest runtime learn more in this series of building up to getting a full perspective on people's perceptions of this particular cryptid, Bigfoot. And, you know, through the whole entire movie and all the other Bigfoot trail, on the trail Bigfoot movies, I keep making the joke that I am one. Um, I have a size 15 quadruple E flat-footed feet, and I'm just like, I'm like a pygmy Bigfoot, because I'm like six foot one. I'm certainly not the size of an actual Bigfoot. But I feel like this film does, like I said, it shows up, it sets the stage, what it's talking about. We get these good, well-told accounts of these different things. They do their investigations. They set the stage, build on to the next film. And you know what? I'm excited to keep going on the trail of Bigfoot. And this was a really good addition to this series. But those are my thoughts on Land of the Missing. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.